everyone, it's Jeremy Vorce, the youth pastor here at Groton Bible Chapel, with another devotional thought for you guys this weekend as we go through the Gospel Project. Uh, this is, uh, we're going through the entire Bible, and so we're at the point in the Bible that King David is ending his reign as King of Israel. He's going to pass away soon, uh, and his successor is his son Solomon. And so some of you maybe, maybe have heard stories about Solomon this summer. Our church is looking through all the wisdom literature, literature of Solomon. Um, but we want to look at one of the very first stories of Solomon in the Bible. So we are in 1 Kings chapter 3. So in a second, we're going to tell you to hit pause, read this section of scripture, uh, and then we'll dive further into it. Uh, but before we do that, I want you to think of this idea. This is an idea that's been played out in movies and stuff before. Imagine if a genie granted you three wishes. It's something that uh, maybe you've heard before. Of if someone asked you uh, to give three wishes, what would you ask for? Um, and a lot of us maybe would ask for different things. Maybe it would be that COVID would go away. Maybe it would be that you know uh, God would heal someone in your family or that you would be rich and successful or uh, have all this fame and fortune or be really good at sports. Um, and so this is kind of the story that we're looking at in 1 Kings 3 here, that God comes to Solomon and says, ask anything. And so we want you guys to read along in that. So uh, here, hit pause, read 1 Kings chapter 3. Like I said, in 1 Kings chapter 3, uh, God comes to Solomon and says, what do you want? I, I'm willing to give you anything. And this is so much because of God's relationship with David, his father, that uh, God said, your father walked so well with me uh, that David is known as a man after God's own heart, that as Solomon is becoming king here, because of his relationship with David, his father, he wants to bless Solomon in this way as he's becoming king. And so Solomon, in this vision, in this dream, could have asked for anything. He could have asked, as God said, for all of his enemies to be destroyed. He could have asked for riches beyond his dream. He could have asked for all this stuff. And as a young 14-year-old boy, Solomon acknowledges that he now has this massive responsibility put on him to to govern a whole nation of God. And, and so Solomon humbly asks, God, I need wisdom. I need to be able to discern for your people what is right and what is wrong. I need to know where you want to lead us. And because of this response, God answers his request. God said, that he will not only give him wisdom, but because he didn't ask for those other things, he would also bless him in those other ways. But if you catch here that it says in verse 14, if you walk in my ways, keep my statutes and commands, just as your father David did, I will give you long life. So on top of the wisdom and all these riches and ability to be the king, God says, I want you to still follow me. I want you to still know that I'm God. And so sometimes uh, in our own life, we can come to God with these requests. We can come to God with these burdens on our heart. But sometimes when God answers them, then it's like, all right, thanks, God. I'll see you next time I have an issue. God, thank you so much, but I I've got it from here and God wants to remind us that, yes, he loves answering our requests. He loves when we come to him in prayer for things. But he still wants to be God. He still wants us to seek after him, regardless of our circumstance, but because he is God. So as you go through this week, I invite you to know that God wants you to bring your requests to him. As big or as small as they may seem. And regardless of God's answer, regardless of if God says yes, no, or not right now, know that he's still God. And he desires this relationship with you, that he's calling out to you saying, I want to be your God 
be my people. So we hope that it was encouraging to you today. Uh, reminder uh, that we have started meeting in person on Sundays uh, for our main service. So if you haven't been a part of that yet uh, and you're comfortable, make sure you come on Sunday mornings to our main service. We will be starting uh, both our midweek programs and also Sunday uh, services for teens. Uh, in the next month or so. So make sure you guys stay tuned for all that information. But until all then, please be safe, be healthy, and let us know any ways that we can be praying for you guys. Bye.